Hello everyone, uh, my name is Andrew Baldwin. I am a chemistry teacher here in the Orlando area. Um, currently studying in the Instructional Design and Technology program here at Full Sail. Um, just a little bit of background, I'm from South Bend, Indiana, um, home of Notre Dame. I uh, currently have a Bachelor's of Science in Chemistry Education um, from Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama. Um, and I'm just excited to uh, begin this program and to learn uh, more about how I can use and integrate technology into my teaching practices, not just to benefit my students, but also to benefit um, other teachers as well. Now, a little bit of background on my career goals, at least. Um, my goal is to be able to develop educational media um, that can be used by other teachers to help their students to learn and understand chemistry in a better light. Uh, one thing that most teachers struggle with is making abstract chemistry, things that uh, the students can't exactly manipulate um, to be uh, understandable and, and, and um, applicable to other situations. Why? Because it's so small that they can't really um, see it. But this is where I've actually developed my passion. Um, this goes along with um, what I've pulled from page 31 um, in the mastery book. Uh, where Robert Greene is talking about how we need to use the inclination uh, strategy, basically. What are the things that you're good at? What are the things that you know about and that you enjoy? It's much easier to master those things that you enjoy than those things that are um, like more difficult for you or the things that you don't enjoy. It'll be um, painful even for you to go about um, trying to pursue those avenues. Now, that actually brings us into the next part, which is dealing with the false path. And on page 37, Robert Greene makes the point, um, or makes the statement, because the field we choose does not correspond to our deepest inclinations, we rarely find fulfill the fulfillment that we crave. This is why we have so many people who are not enjoying the jobs that they have. They're in this position, they feel like they have to go to work, they, they, they struggle to get up every day um, and because of this. And this may be because they were choosing you know, money or family goals or whatever the case, instead of doing what they actually enjoy. The third point that we're um, going to look at is actually the adaptation strategy, or the third strategy. And this is actually the one that I enjoyed the most. I believe this would be the one that I would call my turning point. Because looking at many of the strategies that are used, especially in the field of education, um, many times we fall into patterns of what's been done for years and years. But that causes a bit of a problem. Um, the students um, are, are changing. Um, the technology that is available has also changed so much. And we need to adapt with the times to make sure that we are equipping the students to be able to work with um, that technology. <clears throat> As stated before, this is all working into um, my original career goal, looking at ways to um, develop the skills to actually develop the content myself but also going beyond that to teach other, te um, to instruct other teachers in how to develop their own content uh, for their curriculum, for their classes, um, other than just things for chemistry, so that we can affect change at a larger, um, larger level. All of these references, of course, coming from Robert Greene's uh, book, Mastery. Um, so far, it's been a great joy to read, and I know that it's going to continue to um, push me to think a little bit uh, more outside the box than usual. Um, look forward to working with you all. Have a great day and